At this point, we should all be familiar with Valve's latest and first handheld device, the Steam Deck. This little machine has been talked about and has intrigued many gamers and non-gamers alike, and has now been out for a few months. As appealing as it may appear, on one side it may have gotten many people scratching their heads wondering, why is this thing not running Windows 10 or 11? Or, what's a Linux? From the other side, it's got people either indifferent or ecstatic over that fact. So let's dive in and look into why Valve chose Linux, what this means for the future of Linux, and why this matters. But before getting ahead of ourselves, let's briefly look at what Linux is, since some of these terms may be confusing to many customers who probably aren't familiar with it. Well, basically, Linux is an open source Unix-like operating system based on the Linux kernel, and what open source means is that the original source code of the software is made to be freely available and may be redistributed and modified. With that being said, you get more freedom and transparency when using Linux in comparison to Windows. Oh, and also more privacy by the way. But wait, you might ask, why does this matter bro? I just want to play my games, dude. Windows is the most popular, and for that, all games are made to work natively on it and it's got the most hardware compatibility and everything. Well yeah, you know, that may be true, but ever wonder why that's the case to begin with? What's being done here is a step that most companies aren't willing to take, and Valve is taking the initiative. But before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at the spec sheet for the Steam Deck on the official website itself. As we can see, the operating system is called SteamOS 3.0, and it's, art, it's an Arch-based distribution, and the desktop is KDE Plasma. To briefly summarize things, SteamOS is just the name of the particular Linux distribution which is indeed the operating system that the Steam Deck is using. See, with Linux, since it's open source and there's all this freedom and all, there are many different distributions, called distros for short, which differ in their unique and oftentimes subtle ways to be honest. Then there's the parentheses which mentions that it's Arch based to let you know that it's based on Arch Linux which is a distro itself. The only thing you need to know is that the OS that the Steam Deck uses is rolling release, meaning updates are constantly being rolled out rather than in batches of versions. Finally, the actual desktop you interact with and what you see using this operating system is called KDE Plasma. There are many other desktops available for Linux. I know, I know, Linux is pretty confusing. There's a lot of things to it, you know. But Valve could have gone with any of them, most, lo most notably the most popular one being a desktop called the GNOME. Alright, so what can be gathered from this? Well, what can be gathered is that Valve not only chose a rogue operating system to use with the Steam Deck, but even a rogue choice for the desktop. So what's up with that? Is Gabe secretly a hipster who rejects what's popular and is finally signaling this to us? <laughs> well, I think the answer in all of this isn't anything crazy, to be honest. Alright, so why did Valve choose Linux, really? Well, in an interview with IGN Japan, Valve gave an insight as to why Linux was chosen, stating that Linux is a benefit to them since it's open source, as it means they can work to fix issues and features quicker than reporting it to someone else and keeping, keep improving as they don't have to report it to someone else and wait on them. But that's just one of the reasons. It's true that most games on Steam aren't truly native on Linux, yet many games on the Steam Deck run just fine. Actually, some of them almost indistinct of whether they're native or not. And this is thanks to what is known as Steam Proton. See, Valve wouldn't knowingly release a device running an operating system that clearly wouldn't be able to handle most of the games in the Steam library. And the more you learn about this tool, the more you come to realize just how genius Valve really are. See, this isn't just about updates and ease of work when it comes to fixing issues, this is about freedom. Linux gives Valve more freedom and competition with the Windows Store and other competitors. This also makes them less reliable on the Windows ecosystem by supporting another platform and also helps increase the Steam user base since many people use Linux and would absolutely love to game on it. So what does this mean for the future of Linux? Well, Steam Proton has been out for some time and now with the release of the Steam Deck, things are only getting better. It appears that this is greatly allowing Linux to be more and more viable as a gaming alternative to Windows. The current state of gaming on Linux is far beyond what it used to be, 
and the share of users gaming on Linux is steadily increasing, allowing it to actually become relevant and noticed by other companies so that they too could eventually add native support for their games. To sum it up, this gets more people to use Linux and to have better support for games. It seems like a win-win for everyone, and as far as desktops go, the Steam Deck is using KDE Plasma which is a popular, but not as popular desktop as GNOME. It seems Valve are giving a chance to the KDE team to have their desktop run on more devices, receive more exposure, which will ultimately lead to more support and development as it expands. Plus there's the fact that the default look of it is more familiar to people since it uses a layout similar to Windows 10. So there you have it, regardless of whether the Steam Deck is using Windows or Linux or not, it doesn't matter, at the end of the day it's kicking ass and it's awesome. And so have at it, go ahead and play your games. And what are you waiting for? Install Linux on your desktop too.